Today's global financial infrastructure has a big communication problem. There are a lot of different currencies and a lot of different payment systems. Each one speaks a different language, so they have a hard time understanding each other, which makes moving money slow and expensive, and a lot gets lost in translation. Stellar's vision is to unite the world's financial infrastructure so money can flow quickly and cheaply between banks, businesses, and people. The internet connected the world's computer so information could be shared globally. Stellar is doing the same for money. To accomplish this vision and ensure integrity and neutrality, Stellar is not a bank or a business. Instead, it's a decentralized open network, supported by a nonprofit foundation that handles every currency and speaks to every payment system in its native language. That means businesses can move money globally in seconds, no matter what bank they use back home. And people all over the world can use Stellar to send money to family overseas, to convert one currency to another, or to make payments that are too small to cover fees traditionally charged by today's institutions. In the future, Stellar hopes that you won't have to use traditional infrastructure to get your money where you want it to go. Instead, you'll just use Stellar. Stellar is a platform that connects banks, payment systems, and people so they can easily move money anywhere in the world. To help make this possible, Stellar has created a cryptocurrency, the Lumen. The Lumen is the native asset of the Stellar network. It serves as a kind of universal translator between each currency. Here's how. Imagine a business in the United States needs to pay a supplier in China. They've got US dollars in their bank account in Kansas City, but they need the payment to show up as Chinese yuan in the supplier's account in Guangzhou. What can they do? They could send money the traditional way via international wire transfer, but that's slow. International wires take several days to clear. Complicated, in many cases, funds move through multiple intermediary banks before reaching their destination, and expensive. Each intermediary takes a percentage of the transaction in fees. As money moves around the world, the fees pile up, and the business in Kansas City loses more and more of its hard-earned cash to unnecessary middlemen, as does the supplier in China. By comparison, what if the business used Stellar? Stellar has a decentralized exchange built right into the protocol. It can route a payment in U.S. dollars through its order books, so it comes out on the other end as Chinese yuan automatically. If there's no good offer to exchange dollars for yuan, lumens act as an intermediary. Stellar simply converts dollars into lumens, and then converts lumens into yuan, all in under five seconds, and for a fee of one ten thousandth of a cent. In addition to serving as a universal currency translator, lumens also protect the integrity of the network by preventing spam. Transaction fees are paid in lumens, and every Stellar account has a minimum balance, too. The transaction fees and minimum balance are low enough that legitimate users don't really notice them, but high enough to disincentivize spammers. Lumens are a critical component of the Stellar protocol. They allow it to be efficient, scalable, and they serve as a universal translator for assets. So you can move funds cheaply, but not too cheaply, with the transparency and security only a decentralized blockchain can provide. That's a big step forward for financial infrastructure, all thanks to Stellar. This is Maria. She lives in the United States. And this is Maria's mom, Paulina. She lives in the Philippines. Today, Maria wants to send her mom $20. This is called a remittance. Remittances are money sent to support a family member in another country. And they're a very big deal. The World Bank estimates that global remittances are over 600 billion US dollars every year. Unfortunately for Maria, sending a remittance is pretty expensive. Her bank in the U.S. has no connection to her mom's bank in the Philippines, so she has to use a money transfer service, which means paying a lot of fees. One popular American service charges a 3% conversion fee, and the transfer takes three to four days. The same service also offers to do the transfer faster, but for an additional fee of $9.99. If Maria used this service to send $20, it would mean half the amount would be spent on fees. That's a huge percentage. And Maria and Paulina are not alone. The average fee globally for remittances is 7.1% of the transaction. And there are millions of people who pay these fees every day. But what if Maria used Stellar? 
Stellar is a decentralized platform that unites banks, payment systems, and people so they can easily move money anywhere in the world. If Maria used Stellar to send her $20 to Paulina, the Stellar network would convert her U.S. dollars to Philippine pesos in less than five seconds. So Paulina would receive $20 worth of her local currency, not $20 minus fees. Stellar makes this possible by connecting financial institutions to the Stellar network, which has a built-in order book that exchanges assets. So Maria could send U.S. dollars or any other currency to her mom, and it's converted automatically to Philippine pesos. That's the vision of Stellar. Stellar is a platform that aims to connect banks, businesses, and people far more efficiently than today's financial infrastructure. Let's take a bank, a business, and a person and show you how this works. First up, the bank. This is Main Street Bank. To use the Stellar network, Main Street Bank sets up a Stellar account. Then, using Stellar's built-in tools, the bank hooks its existing infrastructure into the Stellar network. Now the bank can take its real-world assets, like dollars, euros, or pounds, and turn them into Stellar tokens. And their customers can deposit a U.S. dollar in Main Street Bank and get a U.S. dollar token on Stellar in return. All Stellar tokens are exchangeable. And since exchanges happen on the Stellar network, they only take a few seconds and cost a fraction of a penny. Anyone can transfer, store, and trade Stellar tokens, just like Lumens, anywhere on the Stellar network. So now the bank can take a dollar, turn it into a token, transfer it around the world in two to five seconds, and convert it back to a dollar again. For banks, Stellar makes money transfers fast, simple, and inexpensive. Next up, the business. Let's call it ABC Technologies. ABC makes an app. They want to make it possible for the app's users to buy and sell in-game items with each other using a single currency. To do that, they use Stellar to create a new token called the ABC token. The ABC token is, in effect, a new cryptocurrency running on Stellar. It isn't backed by a real-world dollar like Main Street Banks, but other than that, it acts entirely the same. With Stellar, any business can create new tokens to reward customers and create new economies and markets related to their brands. Finally, we have people. This is Lee. She's a big fan of ABC's app, and she wants to buy a new avatar. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any ABC tokens left. So what does she do? She uses Stellar's built-in marketplace to buy some. Lee has US dollar tokens that she previously bought from Main Street Bank. She transfers those into the ABC app and instantly converts them into ABC tokens to buy her favorite avatar. And if she has some US dollar tokens left over, she can return them to Main Street Bank and get her dollars back right in her bank account. Or she can hang on to them or trade them for another token. Any asset can be turned into a token on Stellar. Traditional currencies, cryptocurrencies, real estate investments. So whether you're a bank, a business, or a person, Stellar makes it possible to quickly and efficiently issue, exchange, and transfer tokens in an entirely new way. Stellar is a platform that connects payment systems and people. It's a decentralized network, meaning no single company has the power to turn it off. Stellar's decentralized network is made up of all the independent computers that run Stellar software. Anyone can join. Stellar's network is different from Bitcoin's in a few key ways. Computers on Bitcoin's network compete with each other to validate transactions through a process called mining. This requires expensive hardware and lots of electricity. Stellar doesn't rely on mining, because when a network's miners disagree, the network can split in two. This has happened in the past with both Bitcoin and Ethereum. But because Stellar allows digital versions of real-world assets like digital UN or digital bonds, Stellar had to devise a way to prevent the creation of duplicate versions of those assets. For example, if a dollar on Stellar were duplicated, its backing bank would suddenly owe two real-world dollars, one for each copy of the network. This would obviously be a problem. So Stellar uses a unique way to settle transactions, developed by researchers at Stanford University. Here's how it works. Stellar relies on cooperation within the network, rather than competition. Each company doing business on Stellar connects a computer to the Stellar network. It picks a few other computers it always wants to agree with, it processes the transactions they process, and keeps its list of transactions aligned with theirs. The computers the company depends on, in turn, have chosen to agree with others, and those ones agree with still other computers, and eventually the whole network is covered in an interlocking web of agreement. 
it's actually very similar to how the Internet's web servers work. Stellar uses this pattern to guarantee the network's safety. Every five seconds, the connected computers negotiate with each other according to very specific rules to finalize their agreement. They cross-check each other across the whole network all at once. The rules of the system have been designed so that even if bad computers participate, accuracy and stability are maintained. This agreement system is called the Stellar Consensus Protocol. It allows computers running Stellar to process transactions in under five seconds without using a significant amount of electricity and for a very, very small transaction fee. So who runs Stellar nodes today? Global banks, developers, businesses, anyone who wants to transfer money via the Stellar network. Stellar is simple to set up, free to use, and above all, it's open to everyone. And that's a big improvement over today's international financial infrastructure.